Mike Sabbath and Scott Harris and I were in my house that day and my dog Tarzan, who's sleeping right below me, came in the room, caused Mike to scream in a way that I won't do right now because it'll hurt my voice, but it sounded a lot like the chorus melody. And so I was like, hey, and then I kind of adapted it to, oh, I don't go yet. And um, that's kind of how that melody happened. It's a straight up vibe. It has given me like endless hours of joy. And then the music video for you, seeing how it's inspired, like people do dance moves, some terrible like myself, that must bring you so much joy and a whole nother level to see how your music is impacting people. It's so true. And that's such a good point. Like I love looking at videos of other people dancing and expressing themselves to a, like a piece of music that you know, we made is like the greatest gift. Like, it's just like, you know, it's like putting energy out and then you're getting it back. It's like the best. Was this all done over the last year or has it, it has been okay. And then over, I over before even this year, it was done like 2020, like second half of 2020. So it's been like a year, but all like during the pandemic. How did your surroundings at that point then inspire the album? I think I just finally had time to slow down and like be a human and like, and find out what makes me happy and learn to cook, learn to drive, like find out what podcasts I like. Like, I think it was just like made me a more well-rounded person. So you got your driver's license during this time? Yeah. How do you feel about this? What was one of the first places you drove to? This is a big moment. I think I drove to like Whole Foods in Miami because it's not that far from my house. Um, I love driving. I love it. I drove to a dog park. And going to a dog park with a dog is just seeing their tails wag. I don't know how people can't be happy. Whatever day it is, if you go to a dog park with a dog in a car, it's like. It's the best. It's the best thing ever. Well, I'll ask three quick questions about the album. Like, is the new album done or are you still working on it? Um, it's pretty much done, but I have like literally a week left and then I'm good. Is your family on it in any way? Yes. Many ways, more ways than one. Oh, I love it. And this question is more selfishly for me is because I've actually been trying to learn Spanish. I only know one phrase. Will there be an entire song in Spanish? On yes, it? more than one. Over the last 18 months, though, has, you know, being forced to slow down changed your relationship with music at all? Yeah, I think it's just so much healthier because I think it's just like less pressure um, and more just like when I create. It's just like fun and coming out of a place of like fun, because if when I'm not doing that, I have acquired other interests now, like cooking and reading. So. When I get in the studio, it's not like 100% of my life. It's like a happy, like 30. In 2019 here in Toronto, you were a surprise guest at the Rogers Center. And I just remember the crowd going wild. It was electric. Do you remember that moment? And is there any special memory for you that stands out from that night? I just like feel like I was so nervous and I wasn't even my show. Like it was like Sean's show and I came out and my hands were trembling and I was like, what is going on? Um, I was just more nervous than I expected to be. I was so nervous. Oh my gosh, you have no reason to be. I think I, Canada, we love you. It's just an embrace for you because you're, you're such a lovely person. I love that you are also real. I love your TikToks. Being able to kind of have that personality of your own instead of, hey, like media, like me trying to tell people what your personality is. Is that social media in a way fun? <laughs> yeah, totally. No, that's actually so true. I think it's like, that's what's so like a really positive side about being an artist now is that you kind of have more control over your narrative and it's like you know getting to like make funny TikToks and like talk about your perspectives on things and like be like not take yourself too seriously it almost like it's like you showing people who you are instead of like people thinking that they know who you are from just like word of mouth you know so it's kind of liberating well, and like empowering Do you remember your first day on set and what that was like for you? 
Well, first of all, I love you and I love your personality. And I've literally, like some interviews can be really boring and I've actually really enjoyed talking to you. So that's one. And two, um, my first day of Cinderella, I think I was just like so nervous. Like I thought I was going to pass out, but I didn't. And scene, cut, stop recording and, on this. We are done. And scene, she passed out. Oh.